Hello. Apparently it's a little bit dark, but that's okay. I'm sitting beside the fire that's mostly embers. Uh, I can, uh, there's a light on in the next room. Uh, honeycomb calcite. Anyway, I'm just between classes. I'm here in my gi. And uh, I only have a couple minutes before the next class. I just thought I'd sit by the, what uh, will have to suffice as a fire. Uh, lit this uh, fire for Jen last night, actually. She didn't have a fire, so I lit one, even though she wasn't here. But let's see if we can send some warmth. So it's the same fire. Maybe it'll still be going after my next class, but I only have a couple minutes to my next class. And this is probably not a very good video because the light is so poor you can't see me. But there we have it. I'm just going to hold this a little closer to the fire so there's something for you. But um, the fire is the thumb energy, and it's the part of me that's hurt right now. And um, the fire is also a catalyzing energy, a transmutative energy. So I thought we'd just take a few breaths together. Uh, you know, beside this dying fire, or this low fire, this is certainly not highly excited fire. And uh, make those breaths without any intention to transform, to catalyze, to transmute. So just as the fire dies, we can take an instruction to allow things to be as they become. Often at the end of a meditation, I'll remind students to just note, notice, and rest in the changes that have happened. Rest in how you've become. Notice and be how you've become. So we're at the end of a fire, we're at the end of change, and we're at the end of the attention to change if we can harmonize our intention with the state that we're in. So over the next few breaths, we're gonna see if we can take these breaths without purpose of change. Even if it's to feel good or to fill the belly or to calm down or to center oneself or anything like that, and those are all fine. It's not what we're doing. We're taking note and resting in how we are without an urge to change. This is sukha. So inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. And that's probably about all the time we're going to have as I have students arriving for the next class. So, thank you for joining me. I'm bowing to you. Good night.